sorry. I'm trying to set something up on uh, my Tiki Talkie. Tiki Talkie. Do 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 do. Good luck.
Let's begin. for this world.
Hello. Let's begin. Cool it. I will end you. Dodge this. This is bad. No, I throw it 
been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head and then i would have never walked into the fatui's trap bennett in a cage never saw that coming <laughs> i won't bore you with the rest of the details just me being unlucky again what did you do to become so unlucky bennett did you like piss off like juicy or something yep taking them out was child's play need to thank us. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. Oh, Razor is not an adventurer. And as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. <sighs> oh! Wait, so that guy Gerald who got left in the lurch, he was supposed to be paired up with you? If so, sorry Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius? Oh, yeah, they're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Right, right! Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, Paimon sure Cyrus will put you to work. 
Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? No, he just happened to be on Dragon's Spine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. Hmm. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. of albedo this is weird where has he run off to this is great dragon spine's so fun today there's so many people around it's never usually like this this was where we heard bennett's cry for help right we heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him then we noticed albedo was gone huh so he just... didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, Alberto! Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you! I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but... First things first. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett, this is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Oh, I see. Interesting. Interesting? You, uh, It sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? It is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. 
But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself, even if you decide not to pursue it any further. You... I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing, I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber, we're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? No. Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? Let's go to my camp. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But... before that... Appreciate it.
I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Everything is in order. It's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and that I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. I am a synthetic human being, a human forged by human hand. The one who created me, my mother and teacher. Her name is Daughter, a researcher from Conria, also known as Gold. A synthetic human? What the... how the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a... cold? Rhindaughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys... Brothers? As sons of Rhine daughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. Too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you done to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Jewel? Perhaps Duran's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale. And it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. 
The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. Intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned. And be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Good. Then we're agreed. Okay! Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. So if anyone who is wondering, like on both versions when I play, um, because I do play like, four versions, um, two to play. Astra Abyssal. Astra Abbott.
<sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in. Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Hmm. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly trolls with just one punch! Wow! Then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all. But anyway, is there like the general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the City of Freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight hero. Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you. But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Oh, sad. Mm. Am I gonna buy Venti here? Let me first go here and I wanna buy it. What'll it be today? All the boots. The strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? <laughs> Are you here to try Monstead's famous wine, too? Uh, the strongest fighter of them all? That would be Gene, obviously. <laughs> Why? Grandmaster Gene is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Yo. Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Wanna join me? No. You wanna know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all, Stanley. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? 
sensible choice. Safety first and all that. Even if you are a close friend. Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. Oh, no. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Mention it. The idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you say treasure? Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean... Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. I, I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Patton was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Come on! Let's just go and ask already. We'll never find out if we don't. Fighter and Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. Paimon was hoping he would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, 
Although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Which reminds me, recently one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After he beats the Abyss Order, he'll climb up that ranking table faster than he climbs up... Well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. bumping into you. Hey, look! It's... Explosion inside city wall grounded by thy well. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Monster be bombed. Exe be doomed. There's some writing on here! Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy wall. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Monstad be bombed? Klee be doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Survival rules? Y yeah Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. to introduce myself. My name is Klee. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy right now. Of course. Not, I heard yeah. it from Amber. But wait, no. There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. 
It's gone. Oh, no. Did you say buried treasure? Exactly what Paimon was thinking. Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.